What's up, Nova Nation? This is your old Vanna Supernova. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're doing a quick Sunday reset. I have a few errands I wanna run, and I thought, what better way to get things going back on my channel than to do a quick reset, doing things that I normally would do. This holds me accountable. Self-care is number one, and I wanna make sure that I'm always taking care of myself because if my cup is empty, I cannot pour into others. So honey, one of the things I love doing every reset Sunday is getting my lashes done and I go to the same technician she knows exactly what I want what I love I always get the style gorgeous in a 15 millimeter and so it's varying heights but the highest is a 15 millimeter and as you can see honey it is time we are overdue but she's gonna get me right I go to amazing lash studio they have a lot of different locations the one I go to is in South Florida. So if you have one in your area, I would definitely check it out. They are subscriber based, but if you would like to pay for each single service you can, I think it costs a little bit more. I do the subscription because I go religiously. Speaking of religious, we are heading to church. It's not Sunday if I'm not spending some time with the Lord. After I leave church, I chill for a little bit at the house with the hubby. Then I head over to TJ Maxx Home Goods. There's a few things I wanna pick up, but mainly so for my new skin routine that I'm working on I have a few items that I found and I wanted to pair them with other items that I think may work well with them and for those who really like my watch I found these cute watch bands I didn't even know they sold them but we have all of our goods so it's time to head on over to Target Target has everything y'all and they recently renovated our location I'm here specifically for the skincare products. So I had skincare products that I wanted from TJ Maxx and then I had some that I wanted from Target. One of my favorite additions to the new renovation is the Ulta that's inside of our Target now. They have all the popular items. They don't have exactly everything, but they have exactly what I'm looking for. Hey guys, so I just literally finished all my errands for the day. It is currently 10.41 p.m. I just left Target. Home Goods, TJ Maxx, and JCPenney. So we got a bunch of bags here. And I'm gonna share with you all the stuff I got because, I mean, disregard the cat litter, because clearly that's not literally for me, but I was looking for stuff for my skincare routine because before I was using Fenty for everything, but as you can see, I didn't use up everything like everything there's more there's one more so this was my previous skincare routine i was using the what is this called oh total cleanser for the cleansing portion and then as a toner i was using fat water and then i had hydrovisor i think this is hydrovisor too I don't remember what is in here. I think it's hydrolyzer. I think these two are the same thing. I think this is from when I had the travel size because I had to take it everywhere with me now. And this is the big daddy one. So I had these in the AM plus some black girl sunscreen. If you know, you know. And then in the PM, I just removed the black girl sunscreen and then used um, the instant reset, which is really, really good. I loved it. But everything, everything is empty. So, except for the cleanser, I have some of the cleanser remaining. So, I was like, I want to try something a little bit different, even though Fenty did right by me, okay? My skin looks amazing, even though I feel like right now I'm cheating because I'm on birth control, and birth control tends to clear up the skin. I think this is more like artificially clear skin. I still have some trouble areas, like tiny, tiny, tiny little bumps up here. Um, I need to boost up my water intake, of course, and then revamp my skin routine because I've been out for maybe like since I went on vacation, which was like a month ago. So, some of the stuff I got because, girl, I had to get myself together. And I wanted to try some new items because I kind of tried Fenty on a whim and it worked. But I wanted to try some of the products that were recommended to me. So... I went down the rabbit hole after snail mucin was recommended to me because I was like, oh, this is interesting. So when I saw the snail mucin by Cause RX, I saw this as well, which is their all-in-one cream. 
and I tried it just one time, fell in love, and I was like, gosh, I gotta try some other products too, because what else am I missing? So those I purchased from Amazon, and I'll link it down below. And then today, the cleanser and toner I found were from JCPenney. Did y'all know there's a JCPenney beauty? There's like a whole beauty section inside JCPenney. I was like, it must have been a while since I've been in JCPenney because I was going in to return a sweater or a flannel long sleeve that I bought for my husband. And then while I was there, I saw that they had JCPenney Beauty. And I'm like, wait a minute now. And I found these two products. It's by Cause RX. And one is Triple Hyaluronic Moisturizing Cleanser. And the other one is Hydrium Watery Toner. So cleanser and toner. So that's what's going to replace my fat water and cleanser for this next round. And it's the same company as the ones that were recommended to me previously. So I'm thinking these will marry well and pair well with what was already recommended to me and what's already kind of like, I see it's working for me. So then I went to Target and I was looking for hyaluronic acid and vitamin C because I read up on those two and I read that those are good for a good skin regimen. The hyaluronic acid that I picked was the one from The Ordinary and it has vitamin B5 in it as well, so it's a combo. And then the vitamin C I picked was from Shea Moisture and it has papaya and vitamin C and it has yuzu lemon or whatever it's called, child. I don't know, don't have me lying to you. Yes, it's yuzu lemon. And this has really, really, really good reviews. Both of them do actually. Both of them have really good reviews. So this one is for moisture. This one is to help with hyperpigmentation. And I have some hyperpigmentation down here. I don't really have hyperpigmentation on my face, but under my eye can use a little help, okay? I re-upped on my black girl sunscreen because this is one of those things where I know for sure it works for me and if it ain't broke, I'm not about to sit here and fix it. This as a SPF chef's kiss. So I'm keeping this one. And then I also picked up some hand towels because I was previously using a new actual hand towel to wipe my face or whatever the case was. And although I changed them frequently, it's still not enough. You can still recontaminate. So I decided to switch on over to using hand towels that are disposable. So this one comes in a pack of 60. So it should be good for a little over a month, I'm hoping. And I'm gonna see, I didn't get the regular paper towels because I thought that would be too abrasive for my skin. So I just skipped that and I saw this and I was like, ooh, you know, Kleenex is usually soft. So I'm hoping that this is gonna do me good, okay? My first stop was to Home Goods. I was actually looking for a console table that I saw in one of the groups I'm in. Child, I'm gonna post a picture right here because honey, that table is looking real nice and I feel like behind my sofa, it'll be perfect and it's only $2.99. Like, I'm going to go Home Goods hopping tomorrow. I'm off tomorrow, so I'm gonna be on it, okay? I'm gonna look for it and hopefully I find it. Christmas present to myself. My husband just asked me what I want for Christmas and he about to find out if I find that in any home goods in our area. <laughs> but while I was there, we have a home goods that's connected to a TJ Maxx. We have another one that's connected to a Marshall. I went to the one that's connected to a TJ Maxx because it's closer to me. And while I was there, I was like, I didn't find it the console table. So I was like, let me go on the TJ Maxx side and see what they have for skin products. I knew later on I was gonna have to go to Target and all these places to look for what I needed. So while I was there, I did find some stuff, y'all. I found this black snail mucin collagen mask. And I was like, ooh, this is nice. This looks good. It's one of another Korean product. And I was like, I just wanna try it. I'm just trying to see something real quick. If it works the way I think it's going to work, it's gonna help clear up some of these fine lines, okay? Cause I am getting some laugh lines along the way and I ain't mad at it. It ain't my fault, be smiling child. And it comes in a pack of five. So if this works out and it makes the skin look nice, I'ma go ahead and re-up on it. But I thought that it paired, it would pair well with the snail mucin type products that 
I'm already using, so that's why I got it. I also got some under eye masks because I'm addicted to under eye masks. They are very soothing to me. And I have a lot of the, um, I don't even know, like a dark circles under my eye. I feel like I wish I would've used these more frequently um, than I have in the past. I used them previously maybe like once a month or something like that and these are about to sit here and go on my face daily. I need these daily because looking at previous clips that I filmed before to now, I feel like this area has gotten worse and I feel like we just need to brighten that area up a little bit, lift it up a little bit. And the one I picked, it's supposed to tone, hydrate, and brighten. So this one I'm using daily, every morning. I wanna use it every morning and it has eight pairs. So that should last me a good week. I should know if this one in particular works well for me or not. So I also got this electric nail filer. I've always wanted a nail filer because I just recently purchased a gel nail kit that has like the UV and everything. The little buffer kit that it comes with, which has like the little four-sided buffer, it wasn't hitting the way I needed it to hit. So I feel like this is gonna be a little bit better. Did y'all know that they sell something like this at Dollar Tree? Literally a dollar. And the only difference I'm thinking is that they say it's a little bit more flimsy and then you have to hold the button to keep it on or whatever the case is, but it comes with the same attachments. This one was $10. Yeah, it was $10.99. So this one is pink. I'm a pink girl, so duh. I automatically gravitated towards this one, but those other colors too. So I'm gonna try this and see how it works, and I'll let y'all know. The last thing I got from TJ Maxx is this soft silicone microfine bristle, and this is the silicone side and this microfine bristle portion. This is a skin exfoliator. I used to have one that looked just like this side and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see but it looked just like this side and I don't know where they are I bought like a pack of 10 and I have no idea where I put them I'm just gonna go ahead and use these I had one of these before also don't know what I did with it I didn't get the electric one because I felt like the electric ones might be a little too abrasive for my skin I got very sensitive skin and I have a little bit of eczema so we're not about to sit here and do all that. That was that from the errands I ran today. I also got some Amazon mail, so we about to open those up. Um, I'm gonna open the one for my face routine first, my skincare routine first, since it's relevant, child, to the topic. So the first packet, and I already done opened it because it's a little bit more complicated and it had my address on the front and I didn't want to open it on screen, child, is actually, I don't even know what to call these. It's like little scrunchies. And it keeps the water from trailing. While you're washing your face, it keeps the water from trailing down your arm. Convenient, right? It also comes with this, uh oh, here we go. This headband. And since my hair poofs out that way, I gotta push mine a little bit farther back. I also have the option to use this one, which I use something like this for when I take a shower. Uh-oh, here we go. All right, so this will work in the same way, and this one's leaving little big bits in my locks, y'all. Wait a minute now. Wait a minute now. Oh, oh, it's all over me. Jesus, Lord have mercy. Okay, so this one I might have to wash before I use it, because honey, this thing is shedding. But I'm gravitating towards this one because it's just easier but anyways push the hair back and then i'm ready for my products and just to recap the order of operation on these products because this second packet has nothing to do with my skin products and i kind of want to rehash this before i move on y'all this stuff done shed all over me all right so just to rehash what i'm gonna do starting tomorrow morning actually starting tonight for my skincare routine I done bought this. This is the only tool I purchased for my skin. And then as far as the routine goes, the routine, I have the cleanser and the toner. Those are for sure going on first. Then I think I'm going to do my hyaluronic acid, vitamin C, snail mucin, snail mucin, the cream, and this is literally the last one that's gonna go on to kind of seal everything. And then the only difference is tomorrow, after I apply this thicker cream, 
I'm going on with this um, STF on top. At some point in between, I'm going to try my collagen mask and my eye uh, mask as well. I don't know what step I'm adding that, but this is the regimen as is for now. And of course, I'm gonna have to tweak it as I go along. So the last thing I got is actually having to do, and let me take this ridiculous stuff off because I can't be productive talking about my productivity and we having my skincare stuff on so this one has more to do with productivity and you know that's my jam this is a new ipad case the one i have right now and i use my ipad daily okay daily let me move the camera and show y'all what my ipad looking like right now this is my ipad right now it's a purple spec case that I got from Best Buy. I like it because it's very protective. It has like this flap over the camera, so it's 100% covered. It has space for my Apple Pencil. And y'all, I use all this stuff on a daily. And I'll end up doing like a tour of my planner in here and everything. Like this is, I was just planning my meal preps and stuff for the week. But I scribbled this on here today. This is where I read my Bible. I got my planner in here. Like y'all, this is my planner inside of, <laughs> inside of, of, ooh, ooh, I'm about to put my business out. <laughs> y'all ain't see that. Y'all ain't ready to see this top corner. But all these different areas, whatever the case is, we got finances, yearly pages, wellness, lifestyle, different projects I'm working on, um, productivity, which y'all already know is my jam. So all that's in here. And I love this folio case, but it's getting old, y'all. It's falling apart on me. I used to keep notes, like sticky notes under here, and you can see like the residue from my sticky notes. And then there's like some wear and tear on the sides or whatever, and up here and up here, because I done dropped this like 50,000 times. I'm extremely clumsy. I am ultra clumsy. I'm about to wipe this down and put it in the new folio that I purchased. So this is the new one that I purchased. I have an iPad 11 Pro, by the way. I'll probably do a separate video that includes a little bit more about it. And the new iPad case is pink, duh. I couldn't find a pink one originally. So that's how I ended up with the purple one because next best thing, I guess. This is what this one's looking like. It don't got the little space back here, which is completely fine. This might be a little bit more stable. This is what the inside is looking like. Outside, it kind of looks like a smart case a little bit. It doesn't have a protective area for my camera. I'm just gonna have to be extra careful. I never really use my iPad camera anyway, unless I'm about to do a project. And let me just get this, cause I got OCD. For some reason, there's like a spot on here. And I'm gonna see if I can get it out. We're gonna let that dry and see if that works. I'm about to wipe down my iPad. All right, she is in. And one of the reasons why I didn't get a casing for the pencil is because it'd be a tight fit in these little folio cases. So I think maybe if I find a sticker that I could wrap around it, it'll work. But if I try to get one of them chunky cases for it, it ain't gonna fit in here. But I think this will work for me, y'all. So it'll go like that. Or I gotta do something like that. This might work, y'all. This might work. For the most part, I always hold my iPad like this and I'll be writing. Okay, 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 okay. I think it's gonna work. I totally forgot about one product. I got this brow or lash brush. Is it brow brush or lash brush? Yes, both. I use it usually to clean my lashes because I do have lashes on and you can't really use oily soaps or detergent type um, because it'll be too drying or too greasy and cause them to fall out. So I'm using what they provided me. I go to Amazing Lash Studio. They have some all over the place. So maybe there's one in your area or something similar to it. So I usually just apply a pump, brush it to make sure I get that thing clean, honey, okay? And I'm gonna see if I can find a bunch of pack of these on Amazon for the low. I got this one for $2 at Target. So I done made a mess back here with all this unboxing stuff. So I'm gonna put away these products, probably use some of them later. I'm gonna do some editing, feed the cats. I'm going to chill a little bit with the hubby and then see where I go from there, okay? Mm -hmm.
I'm so happy that I was able to get everything I needed. All I'm missing is a steamer. I really want to have a steamer so that when I'm using my mask and when I'm doing my face routine, I can open up my pores and have a lot of the products absorb into my skin. I also want to make note that you want to do a skin test anytime you're buying new products. So tonight I am going to try the products, but some of the ones I'm kind of concerned about, I may use them just on my hand and see how the two products work well together just by doing a quick patch test. So after I get everything picked up, I'm going to go ahead and head to the bedroom and do a little bit of work in my planner. I wanted to show you guys exactly how I use it in this instance. I'm just showing how I track my cycles on one of the screens where I can see the whole entire year view. And that's just one use case for the planner. I also keep track of birthdays and important dates on my yearly. I use it pretty much the same as I would a paper planner. I also use it for gratitude and journaling. So some nights at the end of the night, I like to go back and review how the day went, review what went well for me, what I want to change, what I want to do differently. It gives me some much needed time to reflect on everything so that I'm intentional about everything that I do. My morning routine consists of Bible journaling and planning, while in the evening hours, I focus on gratitude, self-care, and preparing myself for the next day. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like and share so I know to make more videos just like it. And if you enjoyed it here, please consider subscribing so you won't miss a thing. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.